Do you want to have a save loadout system in your maps? Watch until the end to find out how. The only device you need to do this is the save point device. So get this device and place it down anywhere in your map and copy these settings. Enable during phase, gameplay only, auto save, yes, auto load, yes, auto load behavior, either initial spawn or every spawn, your choice, save loadout, yes, then I would also recommend having save resources and save gold set to yes. If your map is something like red versus blue or something where you can buy something with coins. Then have every other settings set to no except for allow players to clear data. I would recommend having this to yes. All this means is that a player can open their little options menu and where it would normally say things like respawn or stuff like that there will be another little section where it says clear data. But if you want players to be able to save and load their loadout from a button, all you need to do this is place down a button anywhere in your map where you want players to be able to save or load it. Then put these settings in the button. Trigger sound, disabled, along with interaction text set to save loadout. Then in functions put on interact, send event to save point, save player. Then to have players load their loadout, which means when they press the button, they will get the loadout which they have previously saved. All you need to do this is copy this button with the same settings, but in functions, change it from save player to load player, and also change the interaction text from save loadout to load loadout. Now, just as a note, the system only works once your map has been published, so don't worry if it isn't working before you've published your map, because this device does only work once the map's been published. And that's how you make a safe inventory system in Fortnite Creative. If this video helped, press the video on screen now to see how to make a red vs blue map to add the system to.